I'm, I'm Hanne Bjurstrøm from Norway, I'm the chief negotiator from Norway and we just had a wonderful opportunity in, 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 in the session to introduce our new target for, for 2020 which is a reduction of 40% of the global emissions compared to 1990 um, and it was nice to see how well it was received. Uh, the problem is, however, that uh, there is a lot of other countries that do have to follow Norway's example if they're going to lead us to the track on, on a two degree, degree goal. And uh, it's a huge challenge, I think, to, to get other countries coming, coming along. That's why we have said that uh, this is conditional uh, in the sense that we want to see other countries coming, coming with higher targets as well. Uh, we know that Japan just came up with new and more, more ambition targets. Australia had their, their improvements not long ago. So I think maybe this can also uh, inspire countries that have conditional targets to, to get to the higher level. That's what we would like to see anyway. Great. And what is it that uh, encouraged or inspired Norway to move to uh, a greater, more ambitious target? I think Norway has a, a strong history when it comes to environmental issues and international environmental issues and, and, and the two degree target is, is the utmost uh, importance of our, our country so we realised that we had to do our, our, our part to make sure that we can get all the countries coming along as well. I have a daughter myself back home, 16 years old. She's very much engaged in this. So I, 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 I listen to young people talking about this every day. I, I think, looking at her, I think the thing is to, to, she's, to be engaged, to try to press your politicians to, 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 to not, not accept nonsense in a sense, to be quite clear that you would like to see results and, 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 and this is your future.